What is up Batman fans, it's Tim here and today I'm going to give you my thoughts and a little bit of a trailer analysis on the Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham trailer that has just been released. So, Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham is going to be the third Lego game or DC game in the series. It's going to be coming Fall 2014, which is just around the same area of Batman Arkham Knight. So we're going to be in two Batman games in like the same season, which is pretty damn awesome, but they're both completely different. Um, as we know, Lego Batman 2 pretty much had the whole DC universe in it, and this game will as well have that much more characters. Plus, it's going to have 150 unique characters, including the Justice League, Killer Croc, Sonic Grundy, and more. So I'm hoping to see some more characters like Green Arrow that we haven't gotten to see in there before. And hopefully some more costumes. We already know that in the trailer, as you're seeing on the screen, uh, Batman did have a new space costume. It looked pretty cool. I really like that. And one thing I want to point out is that once we did see the Justice League, Cyborg actually had the new 52 post forever evil costume now or i guess cyber cybernetic costume and if you don't not, do not know like if you read the comics and you read forever evil you'll know that cyborg was actually like ripped apart from his first uh you know metal casing and then got rebuilt by his father again into a new looking suit and that is the one you saw in the trailer it has more like the square centerpiece with like that little gear in the middle of it and i really like the new suit and i'm hoping maybe it has different thing powers you can do for it too but um anyway batman and superman both have a strong point in this we do know that uh the comedy is still going to keep on going it was pretty funny the trailer overall the trailer wasn't like a gameplay trailer it was kind of just like a hint like we got to see how hd everything might look like i know it's a lego game but hd still matters like high definition you still want that it's more like it's Legos, we understand, but the more detail, the better. It's like, the more detail in pretty much everything, the more you can interact with everything. And that's really what I'm hoping to look for now that's going to be next-gen. It will come out for Xbox 360 and PS3 too. So, it is coming out for all platforms, but Xbox One. I'm personally getting it for um, Xbox One, just because that's what I have right now. And I don't know why I would get it for something else, but... uh. Hopefully it looks pretty good, and this is going to be the first uh, Lego game that's like DC Lego game that's going to be coming out for the uh, Xbox One. So Lego Batman 2 was uh, only for 360 and PS3. But um, anyway, like I was saying, everything looks pretty good in the trailer. I really do like it. I'm really excited to see what characters we're going to see. I hope there's there are 150. I don't know how much we're in the first Lego game. I Definitely don't think it was 150, but I'm hoping there are some more characters in there, more costumes, maybe a little bit longer of a story mode, and just, I can't wait. Like, the whole point is that um, it's in space, it's called Beyond Gotham, so, and basically, um, Brainiac uses the uh, Green Lantern rings or the Lantern rings to shrink worlds, so hopefully we can get more different colored lanterns, like all the colors, that would be so cool if we could get green, red, violet, uh, indigo, the white, the black lanterns, and hopefully Batman ends up using a lantern ring. I made a video about this earlier, like my thoughts on what the uh, what it should be, and I literally think Batman's going to be using a ring. I mean, like, the lantern rings are going to be a big part in this new uh, game, so why wouldn't they use them to an uh, abuse, you know? So hopefully that happens. But anyway, those are my quick thoughts on Lego Batman 3. And I'm really excited that we're getting this game. I'll be covering all the news for it. And I will probably be doing a giveaway when it gets close to the release date. So guys, thank you for watching. Know to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. <laughs> or you're not going to like what I do to you next. <laughs>